Okay guys, BreakWizard59 here, and the 2017 Winter LEGO Star Wars set images have all officially been released. So I know a couple of days ago we did have just the Rogue One set images released. And I'm not sure if those were really official, as I didn't really see it on any of the official websites. Uh, but today these sets appeared on BrickSet.com, meaning they are now officially released. Um, and we not only have the Rogue One sets, but we actually have all of the Lego Star Wars um, sets from the Winter Wave. Now, I did give an analysis of the Rogue One sets in a previous video. So in this video, I'll, I will once again give an analysis on the Rogue One sets, except a bit smaller version. And I'll mostly focus on the newer 2017 winner set. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, first off, we have the buildable figures. This is the Shore Trooper. Now, again, I really have said in the past, I don't have too much of an interest in the buildable figure, but I like how this one looks. I think this kind of like style for these figures kind of looks good for this, for the clones. Cause you know, it kind of looks like they have all the bulky parts are kind of like their armor. So I think it looks pretty good. Um, next off, we have the. This is Chirrut from the. Um, he was seen in the hover tank set, so now we have a buildable figure of him, and he's actually pretty good. Um, I think the cloth part looks really nice on him. Um, overall, he has a bit more like thicker pieces, I think, and he actually does look somewhat human. Um, and then I do really like a crossbow with those cool uh, gold pieces at the end. Next off, um, I forget his name. His name is Baze Melbis. Um, so Baze um, looks pretty good as well. I really do like how they added extra parts on top of his torso to make that red armor. His gun looks pretty good. I'm guessing that's somewhat of a new piece that can shoot two spring-loaded uh, missiles. But overall, he looks pretty good as well. Now let's get on to the micro fighters. Here we have the Ewing fighter, which I said in my Rogue One review. Um, it looks pretty good. Um, actually, it does kind of capture the ship pretty well, and I do kind of like it actually. Um, and I'm pretty sure that pilot is um, a new figure. Next off, we have the Y-Wing, which uh, I feel looks a little bit bulky, you could say. I don't know. It just looks a little bit fat on the front. Um, the like back part, it looks pretty decent, um, like the engines and all. Um, I like you get a ton of those white telescope pieces. That's pretty cool. And then you get another a Rebel pilot. And I believe I repeated that image. Sorry. Um, but next off, we have Krennic's Imperial Shuttle which I think decently uh, represents the ship. I like you get a lot of slopes, a lot of black uh, angled parts. Um, so some nice parts in this one. Um, and then I'm guessing that is an exclusive figure for our like Imperial officer. All right, now let's get on to the sets. First of all, we have the Rebels Battle Pack. And basically, I like this one. This reminds me of the uh, Rebel Rebel Alliance Battle Pack, which was released, I believe, a year ago. Um, but it again has like some of those uh, figures with those type of helmets and then you get two new figures or actually they're all new but um, the two figures um, in the middle they have the new helmet molds I believe the one on the left is pretty much identical to the one almost identical to the one in the ATSD now that I look at it it actually does have a different uh, pants but other than that it, it um, looks really good same with our um, other Rebels. I, they really look kind of like ragtag, and I actually kind of like that. They're not like all have the identical like torsos as if they truly were like in a rebellion. This kind of shows that there are people from all walks of life kind of coming to help, and I do really like that. The speeder back actually looks pretty decent. It's small, but I think I re really do like how that looks. And you got a turn, so two vehicles in one set. The last time that really happened was like the Mandalorian's battle pack. And even that, this is much larger. So this is definitely a very good uh, for your value. I'm guessing it's going to be $13. Next off, we have the um, Imperial Troopers Battle Pack. Now this one, um, I love the figures. Of course, you get your original Trilogy Stormtroopers, not the Rebels ones. So that's awesome. You can finally build an army of those guys. 
you got the awesome death troopers and i have been told that these aren't the exact same from the krennic's imperial shuttle these are pretty much different the only thing same about these are the helmets or that's what i've been told so uh i'm not completely sure about that but the torsos do look a little different and sadly they don't include the pauldron so they are a little different from the krennic imperial shuttle uh, death troopers but still, they're pretty good. Um, nice printing anyways. Um, the helmets are awesome. And still, these are going to be awesome figures to have and build an army up. And the walker, I just don't like the walker. It's kind of too wide, kind of like too bulky. I'm, I highly doubt there's anything like this um, in the movie. So it's just, I'm not a huge fan of the walker. Um, even the legs are kind of like bare. So I, I wish they could have maybe made the walker like a bit more like a the clone walker battle pack or maybe even like the Kenoshian trooper battle pack even that walker looked pretty decent now we got on to one of the new sets this is robot yoda's uh, jedi starfighter this was seen in star wars the clone wars um and this was the one he took um to malachor um back in the season, I believe, 6, which was like the Netflix original Clone Wars se uh, season. And it looks really, really good. I definitely like how it is. I love the use of the green. Um, it reminds me a bit of Darth Malgus's uh, Starfighter with just how the wings are kind of angled and all, just the overall shape. And you do get your original uh, or prequel trilogy, not the Clone Wars one. So I feel, I find that kind of interesting. I'm guessing they stopped producing the Clone Wars Yoda, so they instead added this one. So this is a cheap way to get him, and a cheap way to get this um, updated R2-D2. But overall, I really do like this set. It has some great parts, looks really good, and definitely, hopefully, I will be getting this set. Next off, another one. This is uh, supposed to represent the duel on Naboo from Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. And this set, I'm kind of i'm like all right with um because here's the thing i feel like it's kind of small so i'm hoping for that reason it'll also be um a little less expensive but i wish they could just enlarged it and maybe made it a bit more of an expensive set but anyways uh what you could see here right off the bat the little uh, you do get four red lightsaber pieces extra um for you know that like sheet ratio so I think that's actually kind of cool. So you got a lot of lightsabers. So you know, I got six red lightsabers. So that's awesome. Um, but overall, it looks pretty decent. Um, of course, you have your walkway into the ray shield. And then behind that is your um, little um, place where Obi-Wan, you know, is hanging from. And he ends up killing Darth Maul there. So I think this can be interesting. The only uh, couple of problems we'll have with the set, for one, that uh, half a quarter cylinder with that sticker on it, I think, I wish they would have at least made one more so that you could put it on the right side here. Um, and if, of course, four of those would have been awesome, like to make the full circle, but at least they could have added one more next to that one. So, you know, kind of be a half circle. That would have probably been better. But if this is a cheaper set, maybe we can get like two, three of those and make a super large one. And that would actually be really cool. And then you have some parts on the bottom. Um, but overall, I think it looks pretty good. I think there's going to be some fun play features. And this is probably going to be a cheap way to get Obi-Wan and Qui-Gon and the new Darth Maul. Next up, this is probably one of my favorite sets of the wave. This is the Phantom. Now, if you don't know, um, this is basically the new uh, version of the Ghost and from Star Wars Rebels. And this is actually supposed to represent the Imperial, uh, not the Imperial, the Separatist Shuttle, the one, like, if you remember the set with Newt Gunray, it's basically that set, and I think it looks decent. I wish they could have just recreated that set from 2009, um, and just, um, again, I'll have an image of that set on the screen, but I wish they could have created that set, recreated that, and just changed the colors instead of just making a bit of a newer, smaller version, but still, I think it looks pretty decent. Um, it, I'm guessing there is some playability. There's some space in the back to fit minifigures. Your minifigures are awesome. You get, of course, Grand Admiral Thrawn, which, I don't know, he looks a little weird. His face just looks a bit odd from this angle. Um, but nonetheless, he's an awesome figure to have. Plus, you get him in a cheap set. Then you get Kanan with his uh, little uh, sh uh, 
shield because of course he can't see so I think that's really cool a cool exclusive figure to have and then chopper so you get some really central characters in a cheaper I'm guessing 20 maybe 30 dollars set um, which looks really good reminds me of the Captain Rex's ATTE it just kind of has that kind of color like bright colors but I really do like how this looks and this is probably a set I would like to get Next off, this is the Bunker Battle. Again, um, I had done analysis on this, but now we actually do get uh, better images here. So you get another crate. That's awesome. You got a lot of thermal detonators. You got your two shore troopers, which look awesome. You got Jin Erso. And I, I forget the name of the character all the time. He is uh, like Jin Erso's like, friend. Um, but what you can see here, you can actually remove um, this front section with the blasters and that control panel. You can remove it from underneath uh, that platform where the arrows are. So I think that's really cool. You can see one of those uh, plates are actually like not connected, meaning you can actually kind of do some feature where you can like maybe move a lever and everything kind of like blows up. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, definitely that gate looks pretty good. So if you do get this set, you can probably make a bit of a larger actual bunker behind that gate. I think that'll be really cool. But overall, this is awesome. I love how you get like those palm trees, and I'm guessing you, you get that cool like slope and tan. So you definitely got a lot to the set, um, and this is definitely going to be a very interesting set. Reminds me of that battle of Takadana. And lastly, we have the um, Y-wing uh, fighter. Now this is actually a really cool set. Um, once again, you get some awesome figures. You get a stormtrooper. You get a uh, rebel. A rebel pilot you get a that looks like admiral akbar except like in a weird like black and like tan color so that's pretty interesting if he's just another one of the mon calamari species but i mean the ones i've seen i mean i haven't seen any that are like black so i'm not sure what that is nice astromech droid um and then you get the cool crane lift and the fighter itself looks awesome definitely a lot of detail you could see some of the droid parts some like sticks so it looks really, really good. A lot of detail, and I do really like that about this set. You get some of the cones on the front. I'm guessing those are the ice cream cones in white, which they use to make the blasters. So this set looks really awesome. And then one more thing is that minifigure on the top right. It's like a, people are keeping on referring it to a, as a white Chewbacca, but now that we look closer, it is not a white Chewbacca. This is more of like a bird like creature, I don't know, his face kind of reminds me of a bit of like a bird, but then he kind of has like a white, like snow, like creature's um, body and head. So I, I'm not sure what that creature is. Um, definitely, we're going to have to see what that is in the movie. Probably it's based on where the planet they're on. But overall, this set looks really good, and I believe it's $70. So there you go, though. That's it for the Lego Star Wars 2017 winter set images analysis definitely stay tuned um, these sets are going to come out in January so uh, coming out soon um, and actually some might be available early December mid-December so this is going to be definitely exciting um, I'm definitely going to get the Phantom and probably Yoda's Jedi Starfighter I'm not sure about the other sets yet as if I have money I might go ahead and pull the trigger on that bunker but anyways, thanks for watching. Give me your thoughts down in the comments below. This is Brick with 59 and I'll see you all next time.